We're blessed in New Zealand with amazing landscapes and one of the most spectacular places has to be Auraki Mount Cook National Park. In the heart of the Southern Alps, it's an alpine paradise with nearly half of the park being covered in glaciers and 19 peaks stretching to over 3,000 metres, including Australasia's highest peak, Auraki Mount Cook. Just three to four hours by car from Christchurch, Auraki Mount Cook is a must-see on any exploration of the South Island. Auraki is considered to be a sacred ancestor by the local Naitahu people. According to their legend, Auraki and his brothers were exploring in their waka, or canoe, when they were frozen to stone by the cold southerly wind. Auraki became the highest peak, with his brothers forming the rest of the Southern Alps, known to Māori as Ka Tiritiri o Te Moana. This place has a great history of mountaineering. In fact, the climbers were coming here long before it was even a park. Most famous of these mountaineers is Sir Edmund Hillary, who cut his climbing teeth on these peaks before heading off to conquer Mount Everest. But you don't have to be a mountaineer to enjoy Araki Mount Cook. It's the perfect place for more laid back adventures too. From the village, there's a network of walking tracks with something to suit everyone, and tracks that range from 10 minute bushwalks to more serious alpine passes. Mount Cook Village also offers a range of accommodation from the luxury of the historic Hermitage Hotel to motel, backpacker and even camping options. But if it's sightseeing you're here for, one of the most amazing ways to see the park is to take a flight in a ski plane. You can land at the head of the Tasman Glacier to soak in the views. And for those of you who like skiing, the ultimate experience is to grab your skis and take a run. Tasman's not only the longest glacier in the country, but at 10 k's, it's by far the longest ski run, which for a die-hard ski bum like me, is all good news. Another unique way to see the park is to take a trip on the terminal lake at the end of the Tasman Glacier. Check this out, guys. You'll float amongst 500-year-old icebergs with Araki looming directly above you. The park is also part of the world's largest international dark sky reserve, making it one of the best places to take in the stars, which means Araki Mount Cook really is spectacular 24 hours a day. For the more adventurous, you can hire a guide and get up close and personal with all that snow and ice. Whether it's an easy walk on a glacier or a more serious ice climbing trip, there's something for every level of fitness and experience. It's Araki Mount Cook and that's why I love it.